So the Warzone Mobile Global Summit in London is happening in three days time, but there's been some recent updates that show that there might be a beta coming next. What's going on guys? My name's Roast and welcome back to another Warzone Mobile video. So just for this next week, I'm going to be covering a lot of Warzone Mobile content as I've been invited myself to the Global Summit event now in London. So I'm super excited to show you guys some new updates to the game. So make sure you hit a like and subscribe. Don't worry, I'm not leaving Apex Mobile and Loba guys. I can't do that to her, but you know I like to give you guys some new updates on new games. So a few days ago, the Google Play app for Warzone Mobile was actually updated. And if you actually search Warzone Mobile on Google, you will now see an install button available. This happened with Apex, and it basically means that there's an open beta or a soft launch coming next for the game. As the same thing happened with Apex Legends Mobile's first beta, we started getting background app updates right before they dropped the open beta. On top of that, people have noticed that Warzone Mobile's logo has now been officially updated with these cool looking backgrounds ready for the launch and then lastly we have almost reached 25 million pre-registrations for the game already which means we're close to getting ghost as a free operator on launch now if you haven't pre-registered yet and you want access to the open beta then make sure you go into the description and the pinned comments and pre-register right now and what i'd suggest doing is registering on a few different accounts as it will probably roll them out to certain regions one by one like most games now the global summit event in three days should showcase some more warzone mobile gameplay and news i'm off to london to take part in it and we probably get to see some warzone pc 2.0 as well pretty much every mobile creator in the world is going so stay tuned for after the 14th when it's over okay so this is basically some hd warzone gameplay so dropping in on airbase right now um or airport sorry and yeah this is what the highest graphics of the alpha is basically going to look like when the beta drops um it might be upgraded a bit more you can see a nice little kill right there he's got the rocket launcher and i think that's the is that the ump that might be the UMP he's using right now, but yeah, so this is the most up to up to graphics HD gameplay of the Alpha. And oh, nice little kills right there uh, on some bots, I think they are. Obviously, we're going to have some sort of bots in the game. The devs confirm that there is, you know, 120 player lobbies, but we're going to have to have some sort of bots to, to fill those lobbies. But there's going to be more players. So see someone parachuting in right there. Uh, so this is basically just the warm up. So he's landed on the airbase. Everyone... It's basically just warming up in this section. If you didn't, if you haven't played Warzone already, you basically get like a minute to a minute and a half of warming up where you can just shoot enemies, practice your aim and stuff. And um, yeah, this is the actual update screen. I'm curious to see if they're going to add some sort of music to the background of this. I mean, you've got this sort of music right here, which is which is okay. But imagine if they added some like freaking rock music or something, man, some Metallica or something. That would be dope. So this is, again, most up-to-date graphics you can see. It looks like it's being played on an iPad due to the resolution as well. So... If you're playing on a tablet, this is what it's going to look like. On a phone, it's probably going to look very similar on one of the high-end phones. But you can see this is the highest graphics added to the game. You can see the textures are very, very good. There's not too much, like, the, the stuff rendering in in a distance is rendering in very quickly. Um, so you can tell he's playing on, on an iPad. Okay, enough fire right now. It looks like that's a bot. You can see the melee as well uh, in his first action. He's got a nade right next to him. Uh, it's like he's got the M4 right now, and this is what it looks like using some plates in the game as well. Nice. So yeah, the aim assist isn't that strong. I mentioned this in my last video. The aim assist isn't crazy. He's got a self-revive right now he's going to use. Um, looks like it gets used in about three, about four, four, five seconds, which is pretty fast for a self-res. I think that's the same on PC. Um, but you can see three shields at the bottom as well. You can see the amount of money he has. You can see if he's got a gas mask as well in the bottom left. And then obviously you've got your inventory as well in your backpack. Um, so moving in on some enemies now. The vault looks good. Like legit. Everything looks pretty much the exact same as Warzone, right? I mean, we've got Warzone 2.0 coming out. At this event, we're going to be able to see... I, I think I'm going to be able to check out Warzone 2.0 as well, um, which I'm really excited for because I play it on PC a hell of a lot. Um, picking up grenades right now, and yeah, the only thing I would say is is the sort of... Uh, the text on the screen when, when killing someone is very big. Like, if you can reduce that in the HUD, that'd be pretty cool. Got an enemy right there. Just thrown in front of him and naded him as well. No, I d see, it's, it's going to be hard to... Hey, yo, look at that finisher. Damn, bro. That was a freaking knee to the face and then deaded. That was uh, that was cool. I really like the finishers on this. It looks like they've added a lot more. And 
I wonder if they're going to have the same amount of operators as well as PC, if they're going to have the same sort of finishers. It looks like we have saw a couple already that look similar, so I wonder if there's going to be, like, extra customizations, because... You guys know mobile games, they do some crazy things, you know? Fortnite Mobile, like PUBG, like, they, they add some weird things in the game, like weird emotes and stuff like that, so... I'm wondering if it's going to have some weird different things, like maybe like a really cool mobile exclusive finisher, or like a mobile exclusive uh, emote as well. Let's see the EBR in action. Damn, that EBR single tap strong. Like, the EBR in most mobile games has always been a strong gun. Uh, it is a revive right now. Same time as what it usually is with Warzone PC and console. I think he got shot from behind. He's got the M4 out. He's on the wall. Yeah, time to kill is perfect as well. For a game like this, the time to kill is literally perfect. There's going to be 120 player lobbies. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see how crowded and overpacked they are. Because if you played Warzone before, there's some... There's definitely some hot drop areas. Like Superstore is going to be stacked every game if 120 players are landing there. We're going to have to do some custom games. If I get custom room access, we're going to be doing 120 player lobbies, Superstore drop only. Imagine the scenes. So yeah, you can, you can just see from the buildings as well, guys. All the textures, they look very low. And remember, this is on an iPad, probably on high graphics, the highest it can be so far. So if you're on one of these low-end devices, you're going to be able to reduce it a lot. So it probably won't look this crispy, but it'll run a lot better. I'd recommend at least 4 gigabytes of RAM or 3 gigabytes... Sorry, 3 gigabytes of RAM probably for a good, you know, for good optimization and a smooth gameplay. Um, quad bite rolling around right now. I think it looks great. Like even the render distance in the in the, in the distance, the grass up close is rendering in later because there's lots more texture there. But even buildings and stuff in the distance, you can see buildings way far away in the distance. Now I want to know with a sniper how far you can see people because you know on mobile games like when you snipe in with a sniper scope far away, it makes it harder to like sometimes people don't render in so. I want to know now, like, if they got the sniper out and they looked at, like, air airport where they were. I want to see if they can actually see someone from that far away. Oh, get popped. Yo, you want to get off there, bruv? Not looking good, bruv. Although, actually, saying that, on Warzone 2.0, we saw some gameplay a couple of days ago from all the content creators and pros. Yeah, like, Nadia, Tim the Tapmat, sorry, Nadia, Courage, JD, they all went to this event a couple of days ago. Uh, or yesterday, sorry, and they did a... Uh, uh, there's only two plates available now. So instead of three, maybe they've left it as three. Maybe it's literally OG Warzone right there. Yeah, so the buy station, you can see his teammate is at the top. So you can pretty much revive your teammate quite easily at the top. You can purchase, obviously, plates. You can get a gas mask, cluster strike, precision, self revive kit. And then you might be able to scroll down as well to try and get a loadout drop because this is going to be similar to... Uh, Warzone original, right? We're going to get, like, the literally original Warzone unless they're going to make it like Warzone 2.0 where certain things where, you know, you can only use loadout drops in, in packages and stuff like that. Because at the moment, what we're seeing right now is Warzone original, you know, the dance Season 1 OG Warzone. Ah. So there's no... There's no gas mask, like, uh, animation. It, like, putting it on or off. It literally just turns on and turns off. That's interesting. Alright, top one situation. There's actually one guy left. Are they going to win? Oh, there it is. Ooh, that was some aim assist locked on them. But there we go. Team wiped. And that is it. That is a victory royale. And there's attempting to win the we World Cup. We are going to be playing the World Cup Brilliant. mode. That's Warzone. And that was from someone called Beta Buff. So make sure you go sub to him if you haven't done so already. Big event happening in a few days time. So make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.